Hey guys, what is up? My name is Hayden from the Magical Kill Cow YouTube channel and today I am back with another Team Fortress 2 tutorial for you guys and in this one I'm going to be going over how to install custom HUDs and custom hit sounds to your Team Fortress 2 game. I've had a bunch of requests and people ask me what HUD I use, what hit sound I use and how to install them in general so I thought I'd go over that in this video. So the first things first is if you're going to be using the HUD that I use then um, you want to head over to Star's channel. I don't want to waste any time on this, so let's jump on right into it. Head over to Star's channel, go onto the right hand side and go to the My Modified Browser HUD. Now you don't have to use this HUD, you can use any HUD you want. This is just the HUD that I use. You'll be brought to a Mediafire page, just click download and a file will open similar to this. Now if you don't have WinRAR or any other zipping fi file or software, whatever you want to call it, then be sure to just like Google WinRAR, you'll get a nice free trial and you'll be able to open the folder. And in this sort of zip, zipped up file, you'll get a resource folder and a scripts folder. Um, and now you want to figure out where you want to put these. So head over to my computer by pressing start on my computer or however you get to uh, my computer on your computer. I'm not sure how well this works with Macs, I really don't know, you really shouldn't be gaming on Macs anyway. But <laughs> uh, this is basically just for Windows really. But you go, go ahead and find out which drive your computer is installed on. Now typically this is drive C but it can differ for different computers. Um, just look for the biggest one basically. Mine's 1.34 terabytes, so we're going to jump into this. And you'll have a bunch of folders in here. Um, the main ones you're looking for is Program Files and Program Files x86. Now, typically, a lot of computers will just have Program Files. And if that's the case, just go into there. Where if you, if you do have these both files, this means you're on 64-bit operating system. So you want to go into the x86 folder. This is where all your software and applications on your computer are stored. So you just want to scroll down and find Steam. Head on into that. Then Steam Apps. And then find your Steam name. Mine's Magic Reveal 09. And then the game, Team Fortress 2. TF. And in here, this is basically where we're going to drag it. You may have a resource folder already. It doesn't matter. Just copy these on top of it. You can just select them and drag them over like so. It should take a couple of seconds and we're done. That is pretty much all you have to do to install the HUD. Load the game and it should be working fine. Now the next thing we are going to be doing is installing a custom sound. Now the best website for this is Team Fortress 2 Dinglings or TF2 Dinglings. I'll leave the link in the description bar for that. But basically what it is, is it's a massive database of awesome sounds of just different things. And I like to use these as my hit sounds. Um, so basically just go over to the website, click on sounds, and the one that I use is Quake Arena. Uh, just type in Quake and Quake 3 Arena hit sound. You can preview it here if you really want to, and that will just give you a demonstration of what it sounds like. And then you can press the download button, and it will start downloading. So it is called hitsound.wav. So we're going to go back into our folder, go into sound, um, and then drag it into UI. Replace this file, because I already have it there. and then it's done. That's your hit sound. All you have to do is go into the advanced options in Team Fortress 2 and then your hit sound is there. Just enable it and then your hit sound will be whatever sound you did select. And it's as simple as that. It really isn't that much hassle and it really is useful. I enjoy this hit sound a lot more than the default just because it has a nicer ding to it, especially when playing Pyro. It can be quite annoying. So anyway, that is my short tutorial on how to install custom hoods and custom hit sounds. If this did, in fact, help you, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I thank you all so much for watching. Join my Steam group. Uh, be sure to tell me what hood hit sound and hood you use. And I will see you all in the next one.